They said, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill Lazarus because he got up. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But let me tell you something. They were so foolish <laughs> to think that by killing one man, they were going to kill the testimony. They were going to kill the power of Jesus just by killing one man. Oh, Lord, have mercy. If I'd have been there, I'd have told him, if y'all going to kill the testimony, you all are going to have to go on a killing spree. One of the first things you're going to have to do, you're going to have to get all the wedding invitations of those who were at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. And uh, hundreds of people saw Jesus turn water into wine. And there'll always be a testimony telling folks, I was there when he turned water into wine. If uh, you're going to kill Lazarus, you're still going to have to go on a killing spree. Why, uh, you need to find a man who was laying by a pool one day. He had been laying there for 38 long years. And uh, yes, and Jesus came and told him, pick up your bed and walk. You don't hear me. And the man uh, was seen running and leaping with his bed on his back. You don't hear me. If you're going to kill Lazarus, uh, you got some more killing to do. Why, well, uh, you need to find a woman who had an issue of blood. And uh, Jesus told her, who touched me? You don't hear me. <laughs> and she said, it was I, and I have been made whole. <laughs> You better kill her too. If you're going to kill Lazarus, sir, yes, you need to find the demonic man who lived in the tombs, who made his house in the tombs. And Jesus cast the devil out the man and sent the devil into some hogs. And all the hogs got drowned in the water. And the next time we saw this demonic, the Bible said he was dressed, he was clothed, and in his right mind. I wish I had a witness here. If you're going to kill Lazarus, sir, you need to find the blind man who sat beside the road that day. He was blind and he could not see, but he heard, yeah, that Jesus was passing by. And this blind man cried out, Jesus, please don't pass me by. You don't hear me. And Jesus spat in his eyes and the man began to see. If you're going to kill Lazarus, sir, yeah, you need to find 10 lepers. Good God Almighty, who had leprosy. And Jesus told them, go, show yourselves to the priest. You don't hear me. And the Bible said, as they went, they were healed. And you especially need to find that one. 
one leper that turned back and said, thank you, thank you. You need to find him because as long as he lives, uh, he'll be a testimony. I wish I had somebody praying. And if you're going to kill Lazarus, you better find that bold woman who came to Jesus. And Jesus looked at her and said, woman, thou art loose. And straightway, the strings that had her tied were loosed and she was delivered. If you're going to kill Lazarus, sir, yeah, you better look for 5,000 men beside women and children who were fed that day off of two fish and five loaves of bread. You better find them. Not only that, but as I go to my seat, if you're going to kill Lazarus, sir, you better get ready to kill me. Yes, yeah, because as long as I live, as long as I got breath in my body, I will tell the world uh, he's able. Anybody know that he's able? Church is open. The, have I got any witnesses here that will say, as long as I live, I'm going to tell everybody he's able. church is open. The door is open. And you better get rid of me. And you better kill me. Because I know he raised me. And 